Hey guys, this is Vanessa and I wanted to take the time to just quickly show you my workflow process from an engagement session. So these are some of my favorite pictures from the engagement session that I shot yesterday at Larita Winery with Stephanie and Jake here. Um, I'm going to throw them into Lightroom first and they already have my import setting here and I'll just go through what that is if you've never seen that before. So basically what I do is I just have settings that I like to add to every photo. They're pulling down the highlights minus 12, upping the shadows plus 12, the whites stay the same, and the blacks come down minus 4. My contrast is up 9, clarity is down minus 11, vibrance up 36, saturation down negative 5. Uh, then down here in the HSL, I have my saturation for reds orange, and orange down a little bit. This helps a little bit with the skin tones, not look so orange or red, especially during the summer when people tan. I also bring the luminance of the red, orange, and yellow up so that I can brighten the same skin tones that I'm desaturating slightly. So those are basically the import settings that I have on all of them. Then I just come through here and I tweak little things. So this is a little bit overexposed. It's also a little bit red. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I love the color of her dress, but it most certainly does reflect onto her face, as you can see in the lower part of her cheekbones there. So I'm just going to have to do a little bit of tweaking as far as that color goes. A lot of times if I want to add more contrast, I'm going to lower the blacks rather than raise the actual contrast because I don't want to blow out the highlights. From here, because this is a close-up, I do want to retouch her face a little bit, so I'm going to go into my brushes. I'm using the Lightroom Retouching Toolkit, going to click on the Beauty Brush. And what the Beauty Brush does is simply smooth out the skin. I don't have to do a lot, uh, one, because I shot this at a fairly low aperture, but two, she's got really beautiful skin, so I really don't even have to do much. Um, I also want to go ahead and go to the Eyeliner Tool, just to accentuate her eyes and her lashes a little bit. Takes only a second. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to go to the teeth and go to whiten teeth. Everybody likes to have whiter teeth, so I'm going to quickly go over those. I can go over his as well. Uh, his are a little bit in shadow, so I could go over his twice and make them a little bit whiter. And there we go. So that image is good for now. Moving on to my second one. We're not in the same lighting scenario, so I can't just hit previous. So I'm just going to adjust this one as is. Exposure needs to come down ever so slightly. Oh, maybe I should. <laughs> I do this all the time. I'm here in my in my brushes. Let's not be there. Let's go back to the basic. I'm going to lower my exposure ever so slightly. Raise the shadows a little bit. I'm going to raise the whites too because I just want, again, their skin tones to pop a little bit. I want a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to raise the contrast slightly. And that looks pretty good to me. There are some blown out highlights here. I did have a reflector on them in this shot, but clearly it wasn't close enough to them to even it out. The sun was right behind them. Um, so what I could do is go into my brushes again and then go to my highlight recovery and just try to pull that back a little bit. It, there's really not much information. These are raw, but I could do that. Um, I could also come here to the darken and darken around them. And I might want to do that anyway, just because it's going to highlight them a little bit. Um, but that looks pretty good to me. I'm also going to go to my brighten here in my adjustment brushes. And I'm going to brighten up their faces. That's a little bit too much, so let me just adjust that. Yeah, and that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead to the next one. And I'm pretty happy with this as well. Just going to lower the exposure a little bit. Raise the contrast slightly and then I'm going to apply the beauty brush. So I am going through these really, really quickly. I do throw these into Photoshop afterwards just to put an action on them. That kind of gives it my style, a nice soft haze type look. I'm just smoothening out her skin. That looks good to me. Moving on to the next one. I'm going to just hit previous on here because it's very similar to the one before. And just a little bit on the exposure. So I'm just going to go through the rest of these, and then we're going to go into Photoshop, and I can show you what I do there. 
All right, so here I am in Photoshop, and I'm just going to add an action here from my own action set, Far Green Country Actions. Uh, I have a little combo one here that combines Get Faded Film and this mid-tone color and pop, and just gives it sort of my signature look that you see right there. Um, I do like to cool it down ever so slightly as well, um, and I find that, that works pretty pretty well. From here, what I do is I highlight the layers, and then I have a keyboard shortcut for duplicating my layers. And I just go through and I add this same exact action on all of my photos. Every once in a while I do this. I'm like, wait, what number did I just do? Um, but for the most part, uh, that's easy to fix. So I just have a few more to go here. And I usually do this first. And then if there are any that I want to turn into black and white later, I can do that. And that's really easy. And I probably will do that. So we'll be able to see that. So I just go through and I check and make sure that the action looks good on all of them. And these look good to me. This one's a little bit overexposed, so I'm just going to take down one of the settings that I had here that helps that. I really want it to match this image, and this one's a little bit overexposed too, so I'm just going to pull that down ever so slightly. And this and the other one can use to cool down a bit too. They're in the middle of a beautiful vineyard, but that of course reflects a little bit of yellow light everywhere. So their skin tones are not exactly where I want them, but it does look nice and pretty. Okay, moving on. Oh, you can see I did not do that one here, so I'm just going to go back and make sure that I have copied these layers correctly. So let's just put it on that one. Perfect. These look good to me. This one I'm pretty proud of because it's like the first time I've ever focused at 1.2. I don't know why my beautiful Canon camera just decides that doesn't want to do that. All right, so for example, for this one, I might want to turn it into black and white. And all I'm just going to do is go down to my warm black and white action and see if I like it. Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to keep that in color. Nice. All right, so after I've gone through all these and make sure I like them all, tweaked all the little things that I want to tweak. Usually it just is exposure for the most part. Ugh, oh, her eyes are too gorgeous. I can't. Nice. I'm just going to flatten and save and close all these with an older program that I use called Show It Effects that quickly lets me flatten and save. The next thing I'm going to do, because I did just take these photos yesterday, is I'm going to go ahead and create a sticky album for her. Um, and if you haven't heard of sticky albums, they make mobile apps for your clients or for whoever you want to make the mobile app for. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bride a mobile app and surprise her with it the day after her engagement session. It's so quick and easy to do. It's not even really so much of a big deal. So I will go ahead and show you how I do that. So here I am in sticky albums and their main area and I'm just going to hit create a new album and really a new album is creating a new app. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just drop all of my photos into the album photos and while I'm going through the rest of the process here and customizing it, I'm letting it upload. I am a multitasker. I like to do more than one thing at a time. Um, I'm just going to go ahead down here to brand. Brand, which it should already be set for the most part, is just going to show off my logo. And you'll see someone else's pictures here, but I'll show you how to change that later. Going back down to album info. This is where I'm going to put my client's name. So up here in album name, I'm just going to put their names here. It is only for my reference, so I can type whatever I would like. Maybe Stephanie and Jake engagement session. This way I can differ it from the wedding album I will name later. So Stephanie and Jake. This is what they will see on their app. Um, and this, check out my engagement photos. It's fine for when they share it. And I usually don't use a blank. I don't put the high resolution photos on here, not even necessarily because I'm concerned about them stealing photos or anything along those lines, just because it's going to be faster for them to load when they're loading the app. You can see over here how gorgeous this looks already, and I'm going to be so excited to show it to her. I'm going to skip over this links and videos section because I don't have any other links or images. <laughs> so the home screen icon, that is what they're going to see on their phone. So I can just choose an image from the gallery already. I think this one is super cute, so we're going to do that one. And then when they 
shared the album on Facebook, I can choose a different image for that as well. So let's just do that one because that's a cute, super cute photo. If I wanted to add music, I could do that. I'm not going to here. And then these are the startup images. And this is where before in the brand, you saw that there were some pictures of other weddings. That's just by default, I have that there. But obviously, I don't want someone else's wedding photos popping up the first thing that this bride sees when she opens the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop in a nice landscape image here. And then let's see, vertical cover photo. Let's go with that one. That one's super cute. Um, and now I'm done. So that's all it takes to create this app. And then I go down here to share the album and it reminds me that I just need to publish it because I have made changes to it and created it. Once I am done with that, I'm going to email this link to my bride and she is going to flip out about this app that she's going to be surprised with. So I'm excited to show this to her and I hope you guys uh, were able to learn a little something about my engagement session process. Have a good one.